top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins, a rap in a black. Yo guys, what is going on, Tim Percent? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really nice looking outro. It's gonna be really vibrant, colourful, and uh, just there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's very easy to do. Um, so yeah, I've actually got this outro at the moment, and a lot of you guys have asked how I made it, and a lot of people do like it. So I'll show you guys how to do it in today's video. Like I said, it's very simple. But yeah, if you're watching this video live as it is premiered, um, then make sure you leave some um, questions and stuff right now, um, because I will be there answering your questions. Uh, and if you're watching it after the video is uploaded, after it's gone live, then make sure you leave some comments down below what videos you'd like to see from me next. Also, hit the like button. Can we break 100 likes? That would be amazing. Subscribe if you are new. And with that all being said, let's get straight on to the tutorial. Right, guys, so we're here in Photoshop. So, the first thing we want to do is open a 1280 by 720 document because that's full, uh, the size of a video. Um, and then you want to choose a color for the background. Uh, I think I'm going to go with maybe like an orange color. So, that's all like that. Then you want to add a new layer go to black and then round the side just add a bit of a shadow and we're going to bring down the opacity because we don't want it to be too dark something like that then add a new layer again and go to white and then at the top just add a spot of white and bring down the opacity and then one more time at the bottom but we're going to set this to overlay like so and bring down the opacity of that as well um, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the Divinity Pack, um, which you guys can download for free. You just type in on YouTube, Divinity Pack, um, or you can find stuff like this on Google. If you just type in uh, like bright um, lights, stocks, um, and yeah, I'm just going to use this one right here. And then I'm going to bring it below all the other um, layers apart from the orange background and then just resize it holding shift and then you want to change the color of it to something like that um, basically the color whatever color you're using and then you want to go to pixelate mosaic and 20 I'm on 21 here something like that uh, and then change the blend mode I'm just going to scroll through there's a certain one that looks good. I think it's this one right here. Then if you press, in fact, no. Yeah, color dodge is better. And then press control J, filter, stylize, um, and then find edges. Then press control I to invert it. And you get this really nice effect going on. Like, there's like outlines. But if you also go to filter, filter gallery, and then go to glowing edges, and make sure you copy these down, edge width, edge width, width, one, edge brightness 20 and smoothness one, and then press control U, and bring down the saturation all the way, and you get this cool pixelated effect, and then you can bring down the opacity of that as well if it's a bit too much, and yeah, it's looking great already, and then I'm just going to add one more thing to it, um, just one, I don't want to layer up too much, so maybe something like this. I think I've, this is the one that I've got in my outro. Um, and then I'm just gonna get rid of the graphics pack because we're done there pretty much. And then I'm just gonna resize it, holding shift. And then you wanna set the layer style to color dodge. And as you can see, it gives it this cool effect with the loaded lines. Um, and then once we've done that, we're gonna add some color corrections. So if you go down to this little button here, the half circle, then go to brightness and contrast, bring the brightness down a bit, the contrast up. And this basically brings out colors and makes it more vibrant. Then go to color curves and bring this up and this down. And then go to exposure, bring the exposure up a bit, the offset up a bit, and the gamma correction. And then finally go to color balance and I'm going to move it over to cyan and then magenta and then blue and then you can group all that together now and as you can see it changes it and it looks a lot better. Next thing we're going to do is add a new uh, layer and go to, I'm going to go to like purple and I'm going to add a spot down here 
and then I'm also going to go to like a hot pink colour and click up there like so and then I'm just going to scroll through the layer styles I think the screen looks quite nice uh, if you press Control U, you can, if you don't like the colours, you can change it as well. As you can see. But it does already look very nice. And then what you want to do is bring that below the colour corrections we've, that we've just done and bring down the opacity of it a bit. And as you can see, it looks very nice as well. And then what I'm going to do is add another layer and go to blue. I'm going to add a spot down there and maybe one over here. And change that to colour dodge, bring down the opacity of it. Actually, no, not colour dodge again. Maybe screen or something. Um, and then once you've done that, we're going to add some more colour corrections. Uh, basically, if you just press Ctrl J, it kind of intensifies it a bit more, and then you can bring down the opacity of the whole group. And yeah, it looks really nice. So the next thing, if you just go to the rectangle tool, in fact, no, um, you can do that or you can just do this, add a new layer, Alt Backspace, and then press Control T, hold Shift and Alt. And basically this is where the video will go uh, for your outro slash end screen. Uh, and I'm just gonna make that uh, white. Um, and also, you can add a gradient to it as well and the inner glow. If you could pause it, you can copy down these settings. I've just got it on like 40% uh, and overlay for the inner glow. And then you can just rasterize that. And then as well, um, you can add some text. And there's this text called Slimlines. You can get it on dafont.com. Um, and it's just a really thin looking font and it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna put thank you for watching and make it bigger and I'm just gonna bring the spacing back to zero and you can put that right in the middle and for this I usually just add a simple layer style if you just double click on the text go to gradient overlay make sure it's black to white on 30% and then add an inner glow um, and a drop shadow and you get that it's pretty very pretty simple pretty very simple um, and to top that off what you want to do is just bring that below the color corrections we made before and also the spots of color you know the purple colors so it goes over the text a bit and yeah that is pretty much it guys so that's how to make a really vibrant looking um, outro pixelated just abstract effect and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, with that all being said, hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.